the Delhi political dangal continues to escalate now. We're getting you live visuals. CBI opened Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia's bank lockers in Punjab National Bank in Ghaziabad. Live visuals coming in. CBI heat on Deputy Chief Minister Sisodia. Protests taking place here in the national capital. We're bringing you live visuals. Uh, CBI opened Sisodia's bank lockers, remember? And uh, visuals coming in from the national capital of the protests that are taking place. Uh, Manish Sisodia's lockers were opened in presence of Delhi Deputy Chief Minister and his wife and were uh, checked in connection with the ongoing probe of the excise policy in Delhi. Reacting to the CBI actions, Sisodia said nothing was found in the locker. He also took a jive at Prime Minister Modi over the CBI raid. Um, you can just take a look at the visuals coming in at the moment. Uh, they're trying to cross over the barricades, the protesters. Uh, you can see right No, All right. Uh, he's addressing the crowd. Uh, in fact, can we listen in to what is being said right there? Ramesh uh, Bidori right there addressing a sea of protesters in the national capital. Amit Bhardwaj is joining us. Uh, Amit, what's going on in Delhi? Well, this is yet another protest by the Bharatiya Janata Party. They are trying to, uh, you know, target the Amadi Party over the liquor policy. And uh, uh, in, in series of protests that we have been witnessing in the national capital, this is another protest uh, being faced by the BJP MP Ramesh Bidori and his supporters. And they are trying to train their guns at the Amadmi party as well as its convener and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and along with that Manish Sisodia. In fact, uh, Mr. Biduri has also responded to uh, the, the allegations and counter allegations by Amadmi party as well as Manish Sisodia where uh, Mr. Sisodia had said that CBI has not recovered anything from his house. So in, in that particular context, uh, 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 the BJP MP Manish uh, 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 Ramesh Vidhuri said that, uh, you know, if he has done no wrongdoing, if there is no corruption in the liquor policy, that, uh, then why is Manish Sisodhya so scared and afraid? He should wait for the CBI to 
give him clean shit. So uh, clearly, uh, the political battle and the political storm in the national capital over the liquor policy is not uh, settling down. In fact, it is escalating with every passing day. On one hand, you have the BJP trying to target Ahmadmi Party, uh, holding uh, uh, press conferences after press conferences. Pro protest outside CM residence is not stopping. Uh, every other day, you are witnessing BJP MPs, BJP leaders, and Delhi BJP leaders, to be specific, trying to uh, put pressure on the uh, Delhi government as well as our leaders over the liquor policy of 21-22. However, on the other side, you have... Uh, uh, the the Amadi party responding to the allegations of uh, the BJP and is also accusing the BJP. All right, Amit, thanks for joining us with those details right there. The Delhi political jungle continues to escalate. CBI opened Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia's bank lockers in Punjab National Bank in Ghaziabad. The lockers were opened in presence uh, of his wife and were checked in connection with the ongoing probe of excise policy in Delhi. Reacting to the CBI action, Sisodia said nothing was found in the locker. He also took a jab at Prime Minister Modi over the CBI raids. Kejriwal and Sisodia's mentor, Anna Hazari, wrote a letter to Delhi Chief Minister and accused him of promoting liquor. Meanwhile, BGP continued to attack Kejriwal and Sisodia and asked Kejriwal to sack Sisodia.